As a rule, contestants are eliminated after every dinner service, but here are some times when they were unexpectedly booted from the show. And in this service, one contestant made Chef Ramsay very upset with an unpleasant presentation of a dish. What is that? Did you bite that? But what Ramsay found at his station left us all in shock. We're starting this list off with a contestant from season 6 who ranked in 17th place. In short, one chef named Louis Cordio had the crappiest attitude ever, and it was this awful personality that sent him packing very quickly. During the signature dish challenge, Louis was the second person from the blue team to have his dish judged by Chef Ramsay, and he went up against Tech Moore. When Louis revealed his dish, Chef Ramsay was shocked. Louis had presented something that he had often served at his diner, which was a sausage with gravy over biscuits with a side of roasted potatoes. Chef Ramsay, who was curious about how much he charged for it, was revealed by Louis that he sold it for $4.75 with the coffee. So now the question was, was the dish worth the price? Well, I don't think so. But let's see what Chef Ramsay had to say. It tastes like gunk. Louis felt insulted. He claimed that hundreds of diners ate the same dish at his restaurant every day, and none of them had complained. But Louis kind of forgot that Chef Ramsay wasn't any other diner. He's a world-renowned chef with a distinguished palate. Louis was lucky to enjoy the reward thanks to the rest of his team who helped him win the challenge. But instead of being grateful, Louis enjoyed a glass of champagne and made a very rude comment. The women clean where they should be at. Cheers. <laughs> yep, Louis wasn't only a bad cook, but also an anti-feminist. I wonder how he's gonna work with a bunch of women around. The next day, Louis was at the meat station. When the blue team moved on to the entrees, he was caught putting raw lamb in the oven without seasoning or searing it first. And well, this left Chef Ramsay annoyed. Why do we sear meat? Just to lock in the juices, sir. To give it color, to improve the flavor. One hour into the service, the blue team had served eight tables of appetizers. While the team was trying to keep up with the momentum, Louis was caught doing some of Joseph Tonelli's work. He was cooking spinach for him. Seeing this, when Chef Ramsay asked Joseph, things really went downhill. Why? I don't know why. What's your station? Rack of lamb and chicken. So why are you cooking the spinach? The blue team already had enough problems cooking the lamb, so there was absolutely no need to work on the spinach. And who created this problem? Louis. But maybe he would redeem himself, right? I mean, why would he want to screw up this early on? Well, when Louis finally managed to send his lamb to the pass, Chef Ramsay couldn't believe his eyes. That's one, that's the other, it's on the same fucking table! However, that's not all. Ramsay then discovered a huge pile of lamb wasted at the meat station, and what he did next in a fit of rage was shocking. Get out! Get fucked! Chef Ramsay not only asked him to leave the kitchen, but also asked him to pack his bags and go home. There's no way Chef Ramsay could keep someone who wasted so much meat in one service. However, this next contestant proved to be a good leader and a great team player who had some reasonable skills. But one slip up led to the most unexpected moment in the show's history. If you can't hack it, you're out! Let's move on to season 7 and cover a contestant who ranked in 7th place. Nilka Hendricks gave some consistent performances and was once named the best of the best during her time on the show. But her elimination confused everyone. In the signature dish challenge, Nilka failed to impress Chef Ramsay. She was the last person from the red team to have her dish judged, and she presented sweet and spicy chicken wings. Sadly, this is how Chef Ramsay found the dish. How much Tabasco did you put there? My half a bottle. It's gonna blow your fucking ass all out that. During the service, Nilka served some Caesar salads tableside. After her team failed to step things up, Nilka took over the responsibility of doing something very embarrassing. Just be patient and it'll get the entrees out. This showed that Nilka had the soul of a leader inside her since it's never easy to apologize for someone else's mistakes. But the red team continued to sink and Nilka was assigned to the meat station with Siobhan Allgood. Soon after, three other team members were thrown out of the kitchen. It seemed to be a pretty rocky service and after the fourth person was kicked out, Chef Ramsay had to merge both teams to complete everything. The following day, although Nilka's performance was average at best, the fact that she acknowledged her mistakes made her stand out a lot. During the service, Nilka was at the garnish station. When her teammates sent their entrees to the pass, Nilka wasn't ready with the garnishes, which ideally shouldn't have been the case. And this left Chef Ramsay frustrated. I have the crab mash, I have- I'm not stuck, f*** up! Alright, Chef. I'm going all together. Post-dinner service, Chef Ramsay called out Nilka and schooled her for being lost on the garnishes. And what I love most about this interaction was that Nilka didn't try to justify herself or give excuses, she simply acknowledged her mistakes. Remember how I told you how Nilka was named the best of the best? This happened on the fourth day. 
During the dinner service, Noka was at the meat station. When the red team moved on to the entrees, Noka was determined to send up meat that was perfectly cooked. And true to her determination, when she sent her beef to the pass, this is what happened. I went into cooked beef. Thank you, Chef. I'll serve your beef to the table, please. That's impressive, isn't it? Chef Ramsay even singled her out and praised her for her performance by saying this. You've got every right to feel proud because you've done a phenomenal job. Thank well you. done. So, considering how everything was going great up until now, what exactly happened for Noka to get eliminated? On the 10th day, Noka gave what might be her first poor performance for the entire season. But sadly, she never got a chance to redeem herself. Before the service even commenced, Chef Ramsay announced that both teams would be cooking in the red kitchen together. What's more, they'd have a two and a half hour time limit. During the service, Noka was at the fish station. The team got started with their first order, and Noka was eager to prove her worth to Chef Ramsay. But that's not exactly what happened. When she sent her scallops to the pass, they came out raw, and this left Chef Ramsay frustrated. Chef! No! They're still fing raw! For God's sake, woman! Later, when Autumn Lewis was done with her salads, Noka wasn't ready with her dish. When she finally sent it up, this is what happened. That's raw, Noka. It's raw. By now, Noka was getting really nervous. She began to slow down, and this really affected her team's performance. But what happened next made Chef Ramsay lose faith in her. When Noka went to grab the lobster from the confection oven, she dropped the plate onto the floor, and this is how Chef Ramsay reacted. Oh, fuck you know. Talk about giving up. When she finally sent her lobster up to the pass, Ramsay rejected it since she sent it up with the wrong sauce. Chef Ramsay was so furious that he pulled her into the pantry. This surely wasn't going to be good. Why can't you come back? I'm so mad at myself right now because I know I can do it. Noka came back and sent a batch of scallops up that were actually accepted. But would she continue to redeem herself? Or had she given up already? I personally think she shouldn't have any issues bouncing back, but let's see what happens. When Chef Ramsay asked her for the turbot, Noka wasn't ready. Then, when he asked her again, she became extremely flustered. Yes. Guess what? Yes, I, a few more minutes. She then sent her lobster up to the pass, but continued to be nervous as hell. Moments later, Chef Ramsay came back with the lobster for being raw, and when she tried to explain herself, Ramsay did the unthinkable. Get out! Take your jacket off and fuck off! What a sad end to such a good contestant. Moments later, Noka was back to convince Chef Ramsay to let her stay, but that only pissed him off even more. I, I can't do it, okay? We're under pressure. Take your jacket off and get out! I do understand how Noka found it hard to believe that she was just kicked out. But she should have just graciously left instead of trying to force herself into the kitchen. When Noka tried to forcibly jump back to her station, Chef Ramsay lost it. Hey guys, I'm telling you now, do something for me. Get her out of it! Noka, you gotta go. Seeing this reaction, fans were quick to point out something really important. One person wrote, She threw a temper tantrum. Not the person Chef Ramsay wants running his restaurant. Well, this viewer does have a point. But I guess Noka forgot how Hell's Kitchen is a brutal competition and the tides can turn at any time, anywhere. However, Chef Ramsay did make sure to motivate her before she left. But what you are ready to continue doing is following your dream. Even though Noka didn't make it as far as she would have wanted to, she did leave a great impression. Had it not been for her mishaps that night, Noka could have definitely gotten a black jacket, don't you think? But this next contestant had a remarkable run when he first appeared on Hell's Kitchen. The second time around, however, he wasn't as great. What are you doing? How screwed up is this? But when he decided to fight back, Chef Ramsay did something extreme that shocked everyone. Josh Travato was featured in two seasons on the show. In season 14, he finished things off in 6th place, while in the 17th, he ranked in 14th place. Josh's performances in both seasons were incredibly different. When he came back in season 17, Josh lacked the motivation and confidence that he once had. His performance was so bad that none of the teams wanted him on their side. Now, that's a sorry state to be in, but honestly, Josh did a complete 180 with his personality. On the first day of Season 17 during the Signature Dish Challenge, Josh received filet as his pro team. And, well, he was the sixth person from the blue team to have his dish judged. Josh made an unknown filet dish, and as you could imagine, it wasn't well received. Filet cooked to hell. It's a 2 out of 5, Josh. Going from scoring 4 points in Season 14 to just 2 points in Season 17, this should have given Chef Ramsay a wake-up call that Josh was no longer the same man. Things didn't get any better in the first dinner service when Josh was at the appetizer station with Van Hur. Josh was so slow with plating his salmon appetizer that with every minute that he delayed, Chef Ramsay grew even more impatient. To make things worse, Josh started to give excuses that weren't even necessary. 
He explained that the only reason he was slow was because he wanted to give Ramsey perfection. Well, the dish did get accepted, but there's something called timing as well, right? Josh's performance dipped even further on the fourth day when Josh was at the appetizer station with Van. That night, Hell's Kitchen got a 12 top, and Jeff Ramsey wanted the appetizers in 8 minutes. While the red team was ready with their tickets, Josh was dragging the blue team behind with his risottos. To make up for being behind, Josh made 6 portions of risotto when only 2 were needed, and this left Chef Ramsey dismayed. All I need is 2. Yes, Chef. Wake up! Yes, Chef. Would Josh redeem himself for the next order? Well, things only got messier from there. Soon after, Josh stumbled on calling out times since he was constantly watching his stopwatch. In truth, you don't use a stopwatch to give out remaining times. So when he continued to do so, Chef Ramsey had enough of it and lectured him. Look at your f***ing dish, you f That's gonna tell you how long. Give me the f***ing wall, he said Then Josh, once again, sent up over-portioned risottos and this made Chef Ramsey furious. Guess what Ramsey made him do? I don't like waste, uh, Pace. Hurry up, you. Yep, Chef Ramsey actually made him eat all the extra portions. Josh was probably so full that his brain stopped working. When he returned to the kitchen, he was so irritated that he got into an argument with Van over absolutely nothing. Here, what are you doing, bro? Here. Following a disastrous performance, Josh was nominated by the blue team for elimination. But Chef Ramsey actually decided to transfer him to the red team. In the end, the team wasn't happy, and neither was Josh, but Josh wanted to prove that he still had it together. The next day, Josh, unsurprisingly, didn't get along with his new team. During the service, he was at the garnish station and his first order was from the bar menu. While he was getting his order ready, he deserted his station to get bowls for the fries. Shouldn't he have gotten everything ready before the service started? Chef Ramsey wasn't happy with his slow performance and accused him of switching off. Later on, when Michelle Tribble asked Josh to refire the fish, Chef Ramsey looked very annoyed with his performance. You okay? I'm fine, Chef. Come on, man, please. Despite getting the order accepted, Josh was still a mess. He couldn't find the eggs for the garnish, and this made Chef Ramsey impatient since the protein was already at the pass. Manda Palomino then jumped into a system. But despite that, the famous chef discovered that the spinach was too watery and garlicky, and the mashed potatoes were liquidy. Do you really think he's gonna excuse Josh for this hideous presentation? Well, that's not what happened. Chef, do I need to refire those two Depends how slow he is. The red team was beginning to despise Josh's presence, since the only thing he was doing was slow them down. To make things worse, Josh decided to work on the lobster garnish when lobster wasn't even part of the order. From here on out, Josh began to make several more mistakes, and when Ramsey caught him carrying ice cold potatoes in his bare hands, this is what happened. Where's the garnish? It's in my hand, Chef. In your hand. Ice cold. Josh argued that he was doing his best, but Chef Ramsey didn't think so and did this. Say goodbye. Get out! However, back at the dorms, Josh realized that he gave up his whole life to come back, and honestly, he shouldn't have done that. I think he would have been way better off without another round of Hell's Kitchen. He came back to the kitchen, and this left everyone confused. Chef Ramsay then took him to the pantry, where Josh argued that he wanted to stay, but Ramsay had something else to say. That is it. Over. Give me a jacket now. Well, I think Josh should just stop trying and go back to whatever he was doing with his life. Obviously, you'd want people to remember you for your best performances and not for being thrown out of the kitchen. So, it's about time Josh followed Chef Ramsay's advice and moved on. However, Josh did have a few fans who backed him up. One fan offered his support by saying, Josh did a wonderful job of controlling his emotions. Your dream is not over, Josh. You can be a cook. But this next contestant had no idea that he would have to face the harshest elimination in HK history. But what did he do to deserve it? This will leave you in disbelief. Get over there. What in the f is going on here? Kevin Ritalin was a contestant in season 15 who ranked in 14th place. Kevin was such a terrible chef that he broke a rule on the first day. In fact, he was also nominated for elimination on the very first day as well. Not only did he not make a good impression, but he didn't give a good service. During the signature dish challenge, Kevin was the sixth person from the blue team to have his dish judged by Chef Ramsay. And, well, he went up against Jackie Fuchs. He served the chicken Caesar Piadina, but Chef Ramsay wasn't impressed. And why would he be? Kevin used salad as a topping for the pizza. And who does that? But that's not the only thing. Take a look at this. Honestly, it looks terrible. When Chef Ramsay asked Kevin how he made the dough, the answer that Kevin gave left Ramsay disappointed. Store-bought dough? Store-bought Caesar salad dressing? Do you want to go home? During the first service, he was at the fish station with Alan Parker. 
The blue team, right from the get-go, stumbled real bad and Kevin had a big part to play in it. Kevin, along with Mark Paras, delayed the appetizers and the diners became restless. 90 minutes into the service, Kevin sent up raw lobster tails to the pass and this left Chef Ramsay frustrated. What's going on? Because I'm getting seriously pissed off. I do not get it. Things got so bad that Ramsay saw the blue team's table leaving and decided that he'd had enough of it. Just literally giving up. A bit like you. Off out of it. The next day, Kevin did better and everyone thought that he redeemed himself. But he was back to square one the very next day. In the fifth episode, the famous chef was over and done with him. During the service, Kevin was at the fish station. After one poor performance after another, this night was a chance for him to prove his worth. But he only proved that he was worthless. Kevin's first mistake was to drop the scallops very early, and this made Chef Ramsay furious. All you're doing is just him and him and them. Yes, chef. That's all you're doing. When he came back with them, the scallops were deemed to be overcooked. And well, Ramsay found the ordeal to be both embarrassing and pathetic. Chef Ramsay actually stopped everything he was doing and showed Kevin how to cook the scallops properly. Three o'clock, four o'clock, yes? Yes, chef. Bang, that is it. Despite that, when Kevin brought them to the pass, they were either raw or overcooked, which infuriated Chef Ramsay. I've just done them with you, and they're all overcooked, raw. Chef Ramsay brought the entire team into the pantry room for an important announcement. Get your apron off, get packed, and off out. Get out. And just like that, Ramsey put an end to Kevin's journey on the show. He didn't even get a chance to get interviewed or share his thoughts. So, these were the times contestants got kicked off of Hell's Kitchen. But who knows, there may be more times when Chef Ramsey goes so ballistic that he eliminates a bunch of contestants in the future. Well, it might be sooner than we think.